Hi guys, I genuinely want to apologize for my hair in this vlog. Let's begin! <laughs> Times Square going to the Gucci store. And you're probably thinking, John, you don't have enough money to go to the Gucci store. You're not rich, but I'm here to tell you. Well, fortunately for me, uh, not only am I rich, but my parents are rich. Sometimes my Gucci gear is fake and I sell a lot of drugs. This is crack. These have been some of the best selling ones. Like with the serpent. Uh huh. How much are these ones right here? Actually, I'll be honest, man. I kind of like that one right there. Yeah, that's the uh, Gucci Corrigan like collection. Something new just came in. Uh, this one's five fifty. Five fifty? Okay. Mm -hmm. I am the only one in here. I'm like scared to touch. Am I allowed to touch things, or do you know how much these are off the top of your head? Seven hundred and thirty dollars. Okay. This one is eight hundred and thirty dollars. Okay. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. What's your name? John. John. Nice yeah. To meet nice to meet you too, man. Nice to meet you. Let me know if you need. For sure, of course. Thank you so much. Oh, well, that was uh, quite the experience. It was funny because while I was in there, my face was like this. Compared to what my face was in my mind. Ah, what the? All right, just got home, guys. How's your day going? I always feel like I should stop and reflect and ask you guys, how is your day? Now, when it comes to the Gucci, I'm not gonna lie, it's a, it's a little expensive for me. Uh, and by a little expensive, I mean I would probably not pay more than $50 for the items that I saw. I think those shoes are worth 100 for sure. But 500 is like, it's a statement. Now I took to this question on Twitter. I asked out, how do so many kids afford Supreme and Gucci? Question for a video I'm filming, AKA what you're watching now, is it just rich parents? Now, I asked that last question just because I knew a lot of people would be like, rich spoiled kids, dude, that's the only people who get Gucci. It's just dumb spoil. It's not. A lot of people do the reselling culture, but in the reselling culture, you have to have enough to buy something in the first place. But if you can get that, you can resell and, and make like, so many folds times over with certain brands. At least with Supreme. I don't I don't think Gucci does that. I know this this little about the reselling world. But I did watch this video on YouTube. It was a documentary about the resellers and it was uh, as as appalling as it was informative and pretty disturbing. But of course a lot of people who can sell weed in their community will make enough money, uh, will make a lot more money than a lot of their peers. I wouldn't advise that at all because it is illegal and you can get arrested and um yeah. And then we have someone like Marcus ADHD, which is another YouTuber who, who kills it. He's, he's blowing up on this platform. He says, I think they have become in a way like the new Xbox or PlayStation because my younger cousin who is 11 years old asked for Yeezys. Somebody else says buy it where it wants and return it. So maybe for a specific event that you're going to if you want to flex on some of the homies, you buy this stuff. Somebody says it's fake probably. I like this explanation right here. It's not just the kids who are well off. The thing about clothing in 2017 is that it's the modern day Pokemon cards, everyone wants in. I mean, that's a good point. When I was a kid, Pokemon cards were a little expensive and I still wanted them. And even though I knew that that would sort of take away from my parents, well, I never asked them for Pokemon cards actually. But I had a lot of friends who were willing to hook it up. And then somebody says clout. It's just clout. Now out of all the explanations, that's the one that I have perceived more of. It seems like a lot of people wear it sort of to be a part of this culture. A culture of sort of high brand, spending a lot of money, showing that you have the wealth because nowadays sometimes it's linked to hard work. And hard work, of course, is a sign of a hustler and everybody wants to be a hustler. And of course, a lot of people will say, well, it's just comfortable and they like the way that it looks. But I, I hate that explanation for anything. Even like me wearing a $10 t-shirt, I don't want to just say, well, it's comfortable and I like the way it looks. I think there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more psychology that's involved with spending $700 on shoes as opposed to maybe $50 on shoes that look almost exactly the same. And I promise I'm not here to knock it at all. About 15 years ago, yeah, I was very, very salty against people who would spend a lot of money on, on anything really, but nowadays I understand it. I understand that there's a sense of community there. A lot of kids who have a lot of money, they relate to people with a lot of money. I don't know. So you sort of involve yourself in that community, in that group, uh, and you just have, you have peers. And then there's another community that hates on people like that, and it's usually a community with less money, AKA, yeah boy! I, I grew up being like, oh, this is stupid, this is dumb. But at the end of the day, it's just finding your community. And for a while, when I actually made money for the first time, which wasn't a lot at all, and I was like, yo, and I bought some rings and I was just like I'm balling out of control all those haters out there who thought I was poor look at me now and I got over that in about six months or so because I realized I was putting myself in a community that I didn't really understand so yeah I took off the rings and I will not be shopping at the Gucci store but I will be shopping at Dave's Army and Navy store what's Gucci
Not this store, this store is not Gucci. Okay, here we are at Dave's. Let's do a price check, a price comparison to the last place. Well, I think I made the right decision. I only spent 209 as opposed to, I don't know, 25,000 million quadrillion. But the only reason I bought so many pairs of pants is because there was a box being shipped to our house with all of my pants in it. And the last ones I had were the khakis that I was wearing before this clip. And now they're all gone forever. And the guy behind me just took a glance at me. I, I can feel it. I also want to point out that I skated about 29 blocks and the only two skate spots I have found thus far is this and this. I don't know how to skate this. Oh my God, finally something else. Okay, that felt good. You had some adrenaline out. That's exactly what I want to do most of the day, but I need to find more. Spots. And I just wanted to reiterate that I am not bashing on anyone who likes to spend a lot of money on clothing at all. That is not my intent whatsoever. The main idea is that I don't think people should wrap up their self-worth and how much money they make. That's the only thing that I feel like can be a problem with people who sort of promote the idea of I'm spending a lot of money, therefore I'm killing it. I don't think those two go hand in hand. Things like that cause kids to compare themselves to these people who have a lot of money and they sort of think that they are less because they might not have as much money. And I think that's silly. You just have to find what for you gives you self-worth. And for me, that's how much I can help the community and how much I can build the people around me, or at least try to. And also just having the time to focus on the things I love, like the fact that I can go skateboarding. To me, that is where I find a lot of value in myself. And a lot of people have been asking for a quote of the night, so I'm just gonna really conceitedly say mine. The amount of money you make does not equate to your self-worth. And the reason I'm sitting here on the sidewalk uh, is because I got tired about three blocks away from home. So I was just like, I'm gonna relax for about 10 minutes before I ching cha sa da da So guys, tune in tomorrow to see more skateboarding, adventures, fun, exploring, hanging out, trying to build a better life for myself, and uh, yeah, having fun along the way. Guys, tune in. Every single day, subscribe. Uh, yeah, I'm doing daily videos now, which is pretty awesome. Love you so much, progress daily, and keep yelling it.